Hello everybody, this is Chris, and in this video, I'm just going to go over how to install package control in the packages that I use currently on Sublime Text 3. I still get comment after comment after comment about how to install generators and how to install package control on Sublime Text, so we're just going to go ahead and go over all that stuff right here. I don't know if these people just don't want to search through my videos to find those videos, so this is all going to be packed into one tutorial. So I already have Sublime Text running. I'm not going to reinstall package control on here, but I will show you how to do it. Uh, we're just going to go into Chrome here. And up here we can just type package control. And there it is, package control. Here we go for Sublime Text. And we're just going to hit installation. And then I have Sublime Text 3 now, so I could just copy this. If you have Sublime Text 2, you would copy this. So we just right click, copy, go back into Sublime Text, press the Control plus the tilde, focus on the window first. Press the Control plus the tilde key, which is on the US keyboard, it's the button to the left of the one. It's the little squiggly line button. And you would take it and right click in here and hit paste, and then press enter. You'll then have to restart. Sublime text, and when you do, you can go ahead and hit Control Shift Tilt and get rid of that. When you do, when you restart Sublime text, you'll be able to hit Control Shift plus P and get this, which is you'll be able to actually have package control. Now, the actual packages that I use are since I'm using Angular right now, you can see. I've got a little Angular script going over there, a module. Uh, I've got Angular Inject, Angular JS, Angular JS snippets, and Angular Zen. You don't need any of that if you're not working with Angular. But <clears throat> what I do use is Emmet, which allows me to let's just get a new file here somewhere. File new and just say Control Shift S and just say HTML, you know, or something, just default.html. It doesn't matter that I'm putting in a JS file because it's just here. So Emmet allows me to do stuff like this. So HTML5, then hit tab. That's what Emmet does. And then I can hit, like, uh, say a class for a div with a class of header. I could say that. So that's what Emmet does. It used to be called Zencoding. Okay, let's go back in the package control here. And go into list packages. Also have Laravel 4 Artisan, which you have to have to use Jeffrey Way's generators in the command in the uh, command line here. So if I went in here and I don't have, do I have any migrations? No, but I'll show you. So if I type migration, I can't do it in here. I can do it in here. This is the controller. So I'll type migration. And then here's Laravel generate migration, and then I just start generating a migration here using uh, Jeffrey Way's generators. So you'd have to have that. And then to get all this uh, highlighting and blade and for Laravel and for the snippets, I use uh, packages for those. So I have Laravel 4 snippets, then I have Laravel blade highlighter. And then this package control is what you install. Then Py V8, the Python uh, V8 is for package control. So I hope this shows you a little better about how to install package control. It's not hard at all. Um, but if you're going to use Jeffrey Way generators, you also have to have, uh, you have to install it through Composer. So you see it here, I have it installed in Composer. And then you have to go into your app.php file scroll all the way down to the providers and then add it in here to the providers and I'll leave a link to Jeffrey Way's uh, github in the description that way you can just go to it and just copy and paste the information into your application so I hope this video helps and I will see you next time